ABC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, Matt, I can't believe that this is my last noon show. I know. We're going to miss you so much. I know yeah. we didn't work together in the morning that much, but it really has been a pleasure to be with you at the desk. Oh. And same. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah. And you get to enjoy a little bit of warm weather before you go somewhere permanently. I know, warm. right? Yes. it's <laughs> I feel like it's just the perfect temperature out there to enjoy. It's really nice. It's not too hot. It's not too chilly. We could use a little more sun, of course, in northern areas. We haven't really seen a whole lot of it. But another day in the clouds. Now, I am focusing on this area of clearing toward Watertown, just west of there, because it is coming our way. So hopefully it holds together. I think we could see a few more breaks of sun later this afternoon. So that clearing line is just coming into the Watertown area now next few hours could push a little farther east. But we do have more sun in southern Vermont, particularly from Rutland on point south, Manchester, Weston, Springfield, Windsor, Heartland, seeing that extra sun. And that's boosting up temperatures well into the 70s this afternoon. So at least 20 degrees above average. So enjoy today because we've got a party excuse me, a pattern changing cold front on the way uh, to the west there. It's just nearing Chicago and there's not a whole lot going on along that frontal boundary, but as it moves east, it'll pick up a little bit more moisture and therefore some more rain as we go into the weekend. Look at the temperature difference behind that front. 60s and 70s east of it and then behind it, we're at 19 degrees in Rapid City, South Dakota, 27 in Grand Forks, North Dakota, 6 degrees in Cup Bank, Montana. So not all this cold air makes it here, but it's just to show you a sign of things to come later this weekend. So here's future cast. You could see the rest of today. Don't have to worry about anything, just an isolated shower or two. And in fact, we could see some more breaks of sun later this evening, even for northern areas. So it's a beautiful day all around. Could be some record warmth in a few locations. And then here comes that big front on Saturday. It's not got a lot of moisture with it. So just a few showers, maybe a few downpours along that front, but it comes through in the morning on Saturday. So that means that the warmest part of the day on Saturday for northern New York and areas close to the Canadian border will be early in the morning and then temperatures drop off throughout the day. But it'll be a nice bright afternoon on Saturday, a lot of sunshine for everybody. So even though temperatures will be cooling off Saturday afternoon, it'll be a lot brighter than on Saturday morning. So that's one thing, one piece of good news there. And then Sunday, clouds come right back ahead of our next system. We've got rain developing. And I know this run of Futurecast shows a round of snow. I don't think this is going to be all snow. It could be for the mountains. But even if you're getting some snowflakes mixed in with the rain on Sunday, it won't be sticking because temperatures will be in the upper 30s, but it will be a shock to the system compared to what we saw on Saturday. So I think that overall Sunday morning starts off dry, but that round of rain comes in by the afternoon. And there could be a break in that action, especially the farther north you are. It's more likely southern Vermont sees that rain. If you're near the Canadian border, it might not really rain all weekend until we get to Monday morning. Monday at this point is looking like a raw and chilly day with that rainfall. So the point is enjoy today and tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day where it peaks in the 70s to the south because of that extra sunshine. It'll be a little cooler north because of the timing of that cold front. So one day is nice this weekend, then it turns much colder on Sunday impact weather for Sunday and Monday. At this point, Halloween is looking dry before we see some more rain and perhaps some snowflakes on Wednesday. <laughs>